you look tasty. No, don't eat me. It's okay, we can be friends like in Land Before Time, because that makes total sense. Uh oh. That doesn't sound good. Ah, oh, it's the Anthropocene! Run away, run away. Man's about to ruin all of the world! Ah. <laughs> in today's video, we're going to be making plastic from milk. Hi guys, I'm Grace and this is Kenan. Hey, that's me. It's gonna be a great day here in the kitchen because we're not making any food, which I feel like we never make food in this kitchen. I wouldn't trust anything that was made here on the King of Random to eat. Yeah, lunch is a little difficult sometimes. Although that ostrich egg was pretty awesome. It's delicious. Oh. <laughs> but today our project is going to be a little bit different. We have some 1% milk and we are going to use this to make our own plastic figurines. Here's the basic idea. We're going to warm up some milk, pour a little bit of vinegar into it, and see the casein separate. Then we're going to be seeing if we can make our own Legos and figurines. So let's go ahead and get going. So I'm gonna take this bowl. You wanna take a bowl too? It works a little bit better um, when we have our separate bowls and then we can just go from there. So we are going to do one cup into each. Do you have a preference in colors that you like? No, just go for it. All right. Uh, vibrancy is the key here. We want super colorful. Oh man, you really went for it. You know, I, I wanted that one to be a dark turquoise. Okay, okay. I vibe with it. Oh yeah. That's yeah. gonna be beautiful. See, I knew that was gonna work out. In the early 1900s, before we have some of the more modern types of plastics that we use, they actually used to use case and plastic to make things like buttons and caps for all their other plastics. Fun history fact. I like it, I like it. Okay, I'm gonna check the temperature of this because our milk does have to be at 120 degrees. We're at 162, perfect. You put it in for three minutes, so let's stick it in for two for the pink. All right. And call it a day. While Kenan is doing that, we're gonna go ahead and get working on this first blue and we're going to add in that vinegar and watch it really start to separate. So you're going to take one teaspoon and you instantly see it start separating. Whoa. Right? That's crazy. Look at it like making like those tendrils yeah. as it like runs out. Here, we'll add just a little bit more just for fun because this is what I do. You know, why not? Science isn't personal yeah. all the time. No. It does say to let it sit for a second and then you can go ahead and mix it in. This part is super cool. Once we start mixing it, everything starts to separate out. Oh, gross. Look, we're already getting that coagulation of our proteins together. In microbiology, we like to think that everything is either snot or poop. So this, this falls right in, in line with that. Interesting. Snot or poop. Yeah, everything poops. You know that book that you read as a kid? That's yes. also the microbiologist uh, motto. Interesting. Look at this. Oh. So what's really cool is all of this is the protein. So it's mostly casein and then some other proteins that are in the milk. But then the the clear liquidy, or I guess it's not clear anymore, but the liquidy part that's left behind is actually whey, which is another type of protein, uh, along with some of the water that's Kevin, left from the milk. Kevin, we made your whey. <laughs> you can go work out now. Okay, so while that one is cooking and while we have this green and orange going, I think since we got this yellow, we can start on our Lego guys, actually. Um, get their heads in place and then stick their bodies in there because we have the blue and we have the pink, and then we can make their little legs like whatever color we want. So what we're going to do is we actually have to drain off this excess. So we're gonna head over to the sink, strain it, and then we're going to play with it, check out the texture of it, and then squish them into our Lego guys. Also, something to keep in mind is we had one cup of milk and it only gave us this much. So if you want to have something of more color, then I highly suggest you make a lot more of <laughs> one color. But we didn't wanna be wasteful, so we decided that this would probably be the best way to go. This texture, it's very moldable, very squishy, very soft. I mean, you could make this into whatever you want it to be made into. So I'm compacting this in super tight. When I was prototyping this, the one thing that I learned is it actually does not um, do very well if it's not compacted very tightly. This stuff is very airy porous and it holds really well when it's all hardened and put together, but when you're first going through this process, um, it can fall apart very easily. 
Now, if Nate is correct, when he did this, he said that the casein tasted like nothing, which is what I'm about to eat right now. And... <laughs> you know what this kind of reminds me of? Tell it, me. When you were a kid, did you ever have like the Play-Doh sets where like you could like make like Play-Doh burgers and I sure pasta? did, I had the dental set. <laughs> <laughs> I think my Lego guys heads are pretty solid. Not all of them are perfect, but they're in there. I'm feeling good about them. And now I'm gonna make this giant Lego guy with my excess yellow that's right here. I'm gonna try to do Kenan's approach on this one and squeeze a ton of moisture out before I stick this in. The other thing about this process is it does take about 72 hours, 48 to 72 hours to cure, um, to really get them to be that hard plastic that we're looking for because this will turn to a hard plastic which i think is the coolest part about this that looks like a good lego head right i'm feeling good about him what color should we make big lego mans maybe pink it looks like we have the most of that okay his body looks pretty huge yeah he needs to hit the gym well i feel like this green stuff that i like pushed all the moisture out is starting to set already Oh, get it in some dinos or some Legos. I know. I'm not, Which I, one do you want? I want to build stuff with Legos, but green is definitely a dinosaur color. Like, come on. We Just gotta... shove it in one. T-Rexes. <laughs> we were so calm and that escalated <laughs> so quickly. <laughs> okay, I really do want to make some Lego hands for our guy. I feel like if we're going to do this, we got to do it all the way. Sorry, Lego guys. You're going to lose your heads. Wow, those Lego heads really fit in there nicely. This is what everyone is getting for Christmas. <laughs> Everyone's getting little Lego men. <laughs> Presents from Grace, I wonder what they could be. My Lego man is like set. How are your dinos and everything coming? Well, they started out good, and then I just started playing around with this. Good, so, good. So, you know, give They're me going. another five minutes or so. Okay, cool. I want to see if I can make a ball out of this. Like it's crumbly, but it sticks together. I'm here for it. What color are you using? I want to see purple. I'm going, I just wanted one purple Triceratops. Oh. Fair enough, I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and fill these last four Lego guys. I'm not gonna make them as intricate as my big guy, but I'm definitely gonna give them a cool body that's gonna be all orange. <laughs> this has been fantastic. I feel like we had great success. Um, keeping in mind that the amount of milk you make, you're probably gonna get like less than half of it is actually going to become the casein and the plastic that you can actually use. I think it was great. We're gonna get this poop colored go and stick it in this mold and let all this cure for like Some 72 hours until it's not squishy anymore and see if we had any success. I'm really excited to see how these set up and harden. I'm like really fingers crossed that it all works. Yep. I just want to say I was a little hesitant about all of this, but these things are like hard. I don't know if you can hear, but yeah. like they started off kind of like crumbly and I was expecting them to just be like joined together, but these are mm -hmm. like solid plastic. The only thing about my um, watching these was that I learned that they do shrink. So we had them in those rubber molds. They do shrink up a little bit. So our Lego guy does not have a really super flat base. Your dinos turned out great. You pulled a lot more moisture out than I did for my Lego guy. I mean, these guys, the small ones turned out super duper well. The only one that does, oh, he face planted. <laughs> he was standing well. So not foolproof, but we made poop, we made a giant Lego, we made some dinos, and we made some small guys. And now we wanna see you guys try it at home and send us your feedback on how your cool figurines turned out. For sure. And if there's anything you wanna see us do with any more milk and turning it into plastic or anything else that involves milk, please let us know in the comments below. We'd love to practice your experiments. Hey guys, if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down there. That way you never miss out on any more content from the King of Random. We'll see you later.